Why do you suspect me? What did I do? I'm on your side. What about him? Miller was in contact with Cypher nine years ago. He was working with them. He's the traitor, Snake! What's that? More truth serum? No. Stronger truth oh, serum. Oh, please. Please keep me here. I need protection. Ah! Ah! You're the odd one out. Why me? We all lost something. What? Except you. Truth serum isn't working. Either some procedure he had done boosted his metabolic enzymes, or he's undergone special gene therapy. What's he saying? Same as six hours ago. I had no idea the nuclear inspection nine years ago was a ruse. Cypher forced me to do that research after the attack. Do you think he had a hand in it? I do. But there's no proof yet. Take a listen to this later. We need proof before we can pass judgment. Keep an eye on him. And don't tell anyone he's here. We'll have him continue his research in there. It's for his own good. The older guys will want his head. We can't guarantee his safety if we let him out. Boss. He mentioned something interesting. The reason why they pulled their plug on the operation in Afghanistan. He said their funding started going to Central Africa instead. Cypher is pursuing new research in Africa. Africa? What research? Emmerich doesn't know the details, but one thing he said does make sense. That Sahelanthropus alone isn't enough to cause an RMA. He claims that what they're doing in Africa is the missing piece. A weapon to surpass Metal Gear. Meaning it's not just another nuke. There's no doubt about it. Cypher's working on something in Central Africa. There's evidence they've been in contact with private forces operating in the region. We follow that evidence. We should learn what Cypher is after. 
Diamond Dogs has gotten a lot bigger. Now's the time to take the offensive. Head back to the ACC for your next mission. Please select a delivery point. Welcome home, boss. What a Send me out on a mission, boss. idea you will come back right there is going to be a kind of festival held on mother base they are calling it peace day snake and his men may be without a nation but they are still an army and that means sometimes they have to fight the bad guys of course they should not fight at all it is obvious to me that any problem can be solved with reasonable discussion. Maybe Snake and the others think so too, because the idea is to set aside war for one day a year and relax in peace. I do not know how it came about, but apparently Snake and Miller got the idea while they were talking, and everyone on Mother Base went along with it. To think that deep down they all share a love of peace, that makes me happy. It wasn't just Cypher. Back in the Caribbean, every eye in the world was turned on us. A private army, just a bunch of guys with guns, in possession of a nuke? Why wouldn't they be uncomfortable? And that's why you made sure the inspection happened. Well, I thought our best move was to prove to the UN, through the IAEA, that we had no nuke. Of course, I was against us having it in the first place, but that was Snake's decision. The boss wasn't responsible. Well, don't get me wrong, I, I still believed in Snake. I thought I was making the best decision for all of us, that's all. I figured we should get a third party to exonerate us before proof of the nuke did get out. And who better to do that than an organization with international authority? <sighs> so the truth is, you took it upon yourself to agree to an inspection arranged by the UN. Only the inspection was a ruse, and Cypher Strike Force XOF showed up instead. I had no idea that would happen. Enough bullshit! Oh, sure, like I could have known. You know, I was just trying to prove our innocence to the world. What's wrong with that? We're not interested in the excuses you thought up. The truth is objective. Just see it from my point of view. You led XOF to the control tower. They seized it giving them complete control over the base. Moments later, they detonated C4 on the strut legs. Anyone who'd managed to survive was hunted down by the assault force and their choppers. You can't believe I did that on purpose. That was the end of Mother Base. But it wasn't the end for you. How can you... Look, think about it. I lost something too. I built Zeke and it got buried underwater. I am a victim. That raises the big questions. Why were you the only one spared? You got away without a scratch. Why did Strangelove leave the base on the eve of the inspection? You two were close. Strangelove? Huh. And how did you manage to build something that surpasses Zeke in every way? Because you did everything they told you. <laughs> You're the only one who didn't lose a thing. That is the truth. I was taken away against my will. Skullface forced me to do his research these past nine years. He used me. I lost nine years. Nine years. We all lost nine years. It wasn't just you. I suppose blaming me makes you feel better, does it? 
But who's gonna give me back all the time I lost? You're not getting anything back. <laughs> You're not a victim here, Emmerich. You're the perpetrator. I didn't know anything. Nobody can back that up. Yeah, all the evidence is at the bottom of the ocean. You know the hardest man to break. The type who's fooling himself. That takes time. It's easier to live a convenient lie than a painful truth. Is that the piece you've chosen, Doc? I'm not lying. Of course. Just let me check one or two things. On that day, you were in the control tower with him. Lucky you. That's how you got out unscathed. And you escaped on one of their choppers. Only you, right before the base went under. They had me blindfolded the whole time. I've never been so scared. The whole flight, I thought they'd kill me. But, but thinking of you kept me going. My comrades, all the way. And? There was a plane journey, and then we traveled by road. When they finally took off the blindfold, I was in kind of a warehouse, on the floor. Afghanistan, it was that research lab. I couldn't believe they'd taken me halfway around the world. And soon enough, he came. Skullface. He's the one who's really behind that mother base attack. He forced me into that research. What kind of research? He told me to build a bipedal walking tank for the Soviet Union. Like Peace Walker. A system that could fire an ICBM-class nuclear weapon. That's how the Sahelanthropus project got started. Sahelanthropus. Those AI weapons I'd made in Costa Rica were like toys by comparison. A whole world apart from reptilian four-legged crawling and, and that ridiculous hunched-over bipedal waddling. My design evolved to the dawn of mankind. Sahelanthropus, the first steps towards humanity. An upright bipedal weapon system. <laughs>